Hey guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is the first video of 2020. And if you are new to my channel, welcome. If you are not new, welcome back. I wanted to make a video basically that is geared towards how to be more positive, how to deflect negativity in 2020, and how to basically just have more positive things going on. We all know that 2020, like for the first month of the new decade, it has really been not the greatest in terms of things that are going on, news. I think that if you're on social media at all, I don't even really need to elaborate. You know, you've seen the different news from like threats of World War III starting to the disease in China and all these different things. So like, I don't even want to get into all of those negative things. I was just like, you know what? This is not gonna define my 2020. Like, no way. Personally, my first month has gone pretty well, but it's hard to even take the successes when there's all these other things going on in the world that are so negative that you keep hearing about like every week is just like too much. So I wanted to make a video to help you guys and give you some of my advice and my tips that help me to deflect negativity and just like basically make my life more positive and it helps make me more positive and my attitude more positive, which in turn will then make my actions more positive and it'll just like it just helps your mindset is really so much of um what you manifest honestly so if i could help in any way to give you my tips then i would like to be able to do that so without further ado i can't believe i just said that i literally don't usually say that because like youtubers always say that basically we're just going to get into the video so i can go over my five tips to help you deflect negativity and be more positive. So tip number one, unfollow negative people. Yes, unfollow negative people, unfollow toxic people. What you consume on social media or just like in life, but what is specifically referring to social media, what you consume is going to play a big role in how you feel or how it affects you. So if you are consuming content that makes you feel like shit then don't consume that content like unfollow that person or that account or that page or don't constantly read whatever you're reading and I wanted to cover this because it doesn't just like it's not just people like there are negative people of course and toxic people and people that you don't want to follow that will make you feel bad but then there's also like news accounts like there's like accounts on instagram that like update you on things that are happening in the world it's good to stay up to date and to obviously know what's going on but there's also a degree of this like if you are following there are some news accounts for example that i feel like i mean okay there's a lot of news when it comes to news uh, most of it is like bad news and also sometimes and a lot of the times news can be twisted to or just like emphasized and just made way more dramatic than maybe it actually is in reality and so there are some accounts that go to like extremes in this so where when you read a piece of news it's like not just the straight facts but it's like so overwhelming or negative that like it can like ruin your day and I just think it's important to keep yourself informed, but also realize that the news mainly consists of negative things that are going on. Um, for some reason, that just tends to be what is like pumped out of the news. Like you don't hear about all of the good things that actually do happen in the world as much as like, you know, like the headlining articles in the news. And this is not just like newspapers, but it's like social media because social media is like our channel of news these days. So just keep that in mind. And if you're following like a ton of like accounts that update you on things and you're just like, oh my gosh, I always feel like the world is ending, then just like chill and maybe unfollow that account and give yourself a break and not consume all that toxic, like stressful information. Again, it's good to stay informed of what's happening in the world. Like you need to be informed, but there's a difference between being informed and then getting so sucked in and focused on the negativity that like 
that it's actually draining or takes away from what potential positivity you could be either experiencing or contributing, if that makes sense. So that goes for different accounts, whether they are news accounts or actual people. And this isn't just on social media. Do pay attention to how you feel when you are around certain people and just pay attention to what your gut tells you and honestly how you feel. If you sit and talk to somebody for an hour and then you leave that conversation and before you talk to them, you things were great and you were happy in life or you were very positive and you went and you hung around this person and then after this person, you're like, you, you maybe can't even pinpoint it sometimes, but you're like, you're depressed or you feel like shit and you're just like, what the, like, what happened? If you may, maybe if you take a second to think back over like the course of the conversation, uh, maybe it was a negative conversation. Maybe that person tends to be more negative. So just be like aware, be aware of this. This is very important. Be aware. And then just like decide who, who you want to follow, who you want in your circle and like, you can be like a hard ass about that because it's like, it's important. Those are your emotions, okay? So don't let anybody mess with them. All right, done. Point number two, that took too long. Point number two is write down your goals. This is so important. It doesn't matter if you're like, but I have a goal to be like a famous movie star and you don't and writing it down doesn't do anything. That's like a long-term big goal and that's awesome. But there's also short-term goals and smaller goals that are also important. And those should definitely be noted down, even if it's something as simple as like, drink a gallon of water every day, or like just drink a gallon of water today. If you drink that gallon of water, you're gonna be like, what, I drank a gallon of water. Like you're gonna be like, you did it, that's cool. When you do something, when you accomplish something that you set out to do, even if it's something basic or simple, like it's cool, it's tight, it makes you feel accomplished and happy. And also it's like the baby steps. It's the small goals that add up to the big goals. So you can even like take your big goal, for example, and you could break it down into things that will come before that big goal. Like, yo, just chill. All right. Like, you know, if you have a goal to be like, okay, a famous movie star, maybe part of that goal is like moving to a new city, a big city or something. And then maybe part of that goal before that is like buying a car. And maybe before that goal, it's like, I don't know, maybe you want a puppy, I don't know. Maybe you want to like start running uh, in the mornings or something, or it, it literally could be anything, anything. Maybe you want to write an ebook or like a book. Like we also can write books too in 2020, but also you can write an ebook. Do you know what I'm saying? Or like start a blog or, I don't know, paint something. I'm filming a YouTube video. I'm in Africa right now. This is my grandpa. I'm literally filming a YouTube video. He just scared the crap out of me. I'm in an Airbnb and he's like, let's go have dinner. All right, wait. Okay, I'm almost done. That literally almost scared me, but luckily I'm in a very safe, gated villa. And um, my grandpa always wears this cute little hat because he's South African, it's so cute. I don't know. Anyways, um, okay, so yeah, that was on point number two. Write down your goals, small goals, big goals, short-term goals, long-term goals. It could be literally like anything from like go skydiving or like visit a new country to like find a new cafe in my local city that I love. Like, like literally anything, you could get really creative. I had a goal last year, for example, that was like, and it, all I wanted to do, I, I didn't, it was to start painting sneakers. And yes, would I like to have it like become a part of my career and more of something that was like a financial, um, what am I saying? Like another source of income? Yes, for sure. But honestly, I just had the, I had the goal was to start painting custom sneakers. And I did that and I made a list. I was like, well, what do I need to do to paint custom sneakers? And I was like, all right, let me YouTube some things and let me see what type of paint I need to buy. And I made a list. I was like, buy this paint, buy this material, get, um, buy a new pair of like white kicks that I can paint. And then I did that 
And then I started painting sneakers and I did like four pairs or something like, so it was just like, I was so excited about that because I got to accomplish a goal. That goal didn't bring me in a bunch of money and make me rich, but it was like a goal that I had wanted to do and I did it and that made me super happy. So that's just an example. Definitely write down your goals, please. It's so important. Okay. That was number two. Number three, do something you love every day. Now, I know some people might be like, what? This is like unreal, lady, chill. But what I mean by that is like, it does not have to be something crazy. It doesn't have to mean like you go and do something like, I don't know, crazy expensive or crazy whatever that you like to do. Like how, I can't even talk. Just do something that you love every day. So even if it's something like, if you like playing with makeup and you're a girl and you like, or like you're in your, or you're a guy and you love to do like makeup looks, then if that makes you happy, okay, do like, do something on that every day. If you like to go for a walk, if you like to, you like shoot hoops, play basketball, if you like to play some other kind of sport or dance, or if you like to draw, if you like to create content, make like YouTube videos or just like do photography, it doesn't. It literally doesn't matter. Like it could be something so simple. If you're if you're into it, if you like to do programming, I don't know if that's a good example, but if you're interested in programming, some people are really interested in that. If you like to do, I don't know, if you like to make stuff, like it could literally be anything that you like to do. And I just suggest doing a little bit of something that you like to do every day. Like it's really just like a self-love, self-care type of thing. So that could even just be like, honestly, self-care. Like if you like to take care of your skin or have like a bubble bath or do like your skincare routine or anything like that, then just make sure you incorporate something that you do that's for yourself and start implementing that on a daily basis or at least try to. If it's like unreal, if you're listening to me and you're thinking like, this chick's crazy, like who has time for that? okay okay then maybe do it like set aside a day a week where you do something that you love and if you can't think of something that you love then you should think about it and make a list of the things that you love yeah so even if you need to like make a list of the things that you love to do like for example i love to dance i love to create content i love to work out i love to eat good food. I also love to just like interact with people. I really am like a social person. So these are all different examples. So just those examples alone, that's a hundred percent possible to do some of that every single day. So you don't have to get crazy about it, but if you think about it, if you are doing something that you love every day, what's even better is if that can be incorporated into your, if it's like your passion and you can make that your source of income and your living, that's that's even cooler, that's for sure the goal. But if it's not there yet, but it's something that you love to do, I definitely recommend that you you put in that time to do it because like, that's for you, you know what I'm saying? And probably, it probably just naturally contributes to some of your goals that you have. So like if you have a goal to, you know, reach a certain weight or get more, get more in shape or something and part of that is working out, then that's, that's dope because that fits perfectly. So that was point number three, okay? Point number four. Now, this is also, I think, very important, is uh, be active. Um, and what I mean by that is just do something to move your body. It actually does a lot for you. Like, even if you aren't a big fan of the gym, maybe try something like yoga and see how, see how you like that. If you've never tried it, you might not know what you're missing out on. I did hot yoga for the first time like a couple months ago and I didn't ever think I would really be interested in hot yoga. I love hot yoga. Like I will do, I would do hot yoga daily and and I just wouldn't have known if I hadn't tried it. So you never know, like you might just try doing something to be active that is something new and you might find out you love it. Being active is just something that is going to help your body, which also, I this is my opinion, I'm not like a trained professional, like doctor or fitness trainer or nutritionist or anything, but I really think it's just, it, it's just basic. Like 
when you are moving your body and keeping it active, it really helps so much your mental state of mind and your mindset and it can do a lot for you. I know for me personally, like I love the gym personally. I also love to dance. Those are two things that I know if I'm stressed out or I'm having a bad day, I can do one of those two things. And at the end of my gym session or my dance routine, my dance class or whatever, I am going to feel so good. Like I know for a fact it happens every single time. So for me that like, I love the gym. I love dancing. And when I do those things, I'm like, it's just, it's crazy how much of an impact it can have on your mindset and how you're feeling and on your emotions. And it can totally change like a really bad day to like a totally new viewpoint where you're like, oh, I feel good. Okay, awesome. And you can just like look at things freshly. It's crazy. I think it's crazy because I just think that's so fascinating to me how something as simple that anybody can do anybody can do that if you are having a really bad day or you're overwhelmed with stress do not just crawl in your like into curl into crawl curl lady oh my gosh sometimes I just literally think I can't even talk like what so if you're having a really bad day or you've had really bad news the thing to not do is like withdraw or like curl up in a ball or like go inactive but if you did the opposite if you went and you took a walk or if you went for a jog or if you like walked your dog or did yoga or played a sport or even walked along the beach or went for a hike like do you see these different ideas and you don't have to be like a guy uh, like you don't have to be like some super fit like olympic person to do any of those things you can literally be like a normal person and go for a walk so these things are all good pieces of advice this is going to help you this is going to help you if you do this that was number four and last but not least number five this is so important i think because especially in light of all of the recent events of january the first month of this decade I feel like people really should val like make sure to value life right now and the people that you love and that are important to you and that you care about to j just keep that alive. And what I mean by that is like, I guess I think just the best way to say this is to really value what you have, value the people you have in your life that you love, and don't hold on to grudges or like negativity that is in the past and doesn't need to reside there and continue to just like have a bad or negative impact upon your relationship with somebody that is important to you or that should be important to you or that was important to you in the past. Because, like, I, I just think life, and I know this is about to get deep and everything, but I, I have to just speak up about this because in light of, of the tragedy that happened with Kobe Bryant and the helicopter accident, like, I, it really just, and I think it did this for other people, just put some things in perspective. And it's really not worth it to hold on to grudges with people or to even just not take that extra time to or to care about that person that you really love or to spend time with that person that's important to you these little things are so important and and yeah like life is precious and it should be valued and not taken advantage of and realize that every day that you're still here and your family and friends and loved ones are still here is a blessing and to really just honestly appreciate that for what it is because not everybody has that as we have witnessed you know and as probably people that are watching this right now have their own experience so i think it's important and this is why i put this in here as number five is to just is to care about make a point make a point to care about talk to message send a text give them a call, FaceTime them. The people that you love, just like let them know let and be there for them. And 
make it a point to spend more time with them. And I know how easy it can be to get caught up in the hustle and the things that you're interested in and you're doing and everything, but realize that there are, like your life does consist of these different sections and the people that you love, your family, your friends, your groups, this is a part of it as well. And you don't want to neglect that and then have regrets later. So for me, I felt like this was important because I just, I know that for me in 2020, I have a lot of goals that I'm working towards, but also I want to always strive to do better. And that includes with how I handle my relationships, how I, you know, respond to text messages or just uh, acknowledge people and make sure that they know that they're loved and valued because that can go a long way and that can mean so much for people. My gosh, this is such like a deep emotional YouTube video. I'm not even like mad about it because I just felt like it had to be said. I just wanted to like really speak from the heart for myself because just going through the first month of 2020 and having to see how it has affected friends of mine, people that I don't even know personally, like across the globe, different parts of the world that have been affected in different ways by either the bad news or the things that have happened. I was like, whoa, like 2020, chill. We need to make this a good fucking year. Like, let's go. So I had to come on here and just give you guys the advice that I feel has helped me and that I wanted to share with you so that hopefully you can implement it and you can start doing these things as well. And hopefully it has a positive impact on your life and reduces the negativity and increases the positivity because that's what it's all about, yo. Mm. All right, guys, that's all I have for this video. I hope it was helpful. I hope you did enjoy it. Please give it a like. If you liked it, please share it. If there's somebody that you feel could benefit from this video. And if you've not yet subscribed to my YouTube channel, I would very much appreciate it if you would subscribe by hitting the subscribe button and turning notifications on. Again, I appreciate you guys. And February 1st, 2020 is coming up. So I wish you guys a happy new year and let's make 2020 the fucking best year yet. Love you guys.